Hi, this is Catherine with Johnson. Do you struggle when someone has objections about your product or service that you're offering? Do you want to know how to get through with perfect posture and without losing any face? Here are my five tips on how to maintain your perfect posture while objection handling. So the first tip is actually about your belief and your mindset. People say it's all in the head and actually it really is. If you believe that the person that you are speaking with is going to get the most amazing deal when they purchase your product or service, then you will have no problem with stepping them through. You're actually like a trusted advisor, helping people who are either confused or misinformed to make a decision that suits them. Now, I want you to have a, a think about this. The mindset that you are going to have with all objection handling from now on is actually the mindset of pull rather than push. So what you want to do is you want to pull or attract people to you like a magnet that you want to work with. People that also want to work with you are going to be attracted to you. Now you can't do this by, if someone has an objection hand, um, then gobbing at them and saying, well this is why I think you should do this or this is why I think um, what you want to do is actually allow the question and encourage an answer. So what you do is you actually hand people a paintbrush when they are asking a question to, to paint themselves into the picture and for them to see the results of their choices. So one thing that I, I particularly like, and I've learned this from Ray Higdon recently, he says to pass over the paintbrush and say things like, well, if you don't use this product or service, what else could you see yourself trying? So it shows them that they need to, well, it, it, first of all, it challenges them to see themselves using the product. So, you know, if you don't see it, they will actually see it. And trying other products, you know, in the past, they've, they've come to you for a reason and they probably don't have any other options. And if they do, you know what, that's, that's okay too, but you're wanting to pull the people, pull the answers out of them. So people generally have a few different objections. One, of, one that I found that I was getting a lot of and um, that I was believing was a valid objection was time. Now, the, the truth is that when you take time, you make time and you will take time for things that are important to you. However, people will say, oh, you know, I just don't have the right time or, you know, I'm not sure if this is the right time of my life to do this. Um, so what you want to do instead of telling them why it is, you just want to ask them. So, you know, I hear, um, that that's a concern for you but why is now the right time you've come looking for me why is now the right time for you to do this and they will tell you and some people might say well it's not the right time for me at all um, and that's fine but they will tell you why it is or why it isn't but um, why is now different so they've looked at other things why is this different and they might come at the come at you with the question of well, you know, why should I work with you in particular? They want you to do a little dance and tell them why, how, how you're amazing. Be asking them, well, I don't know, maybe I'm not the right person for you to be working with. Tell me, what are you looking for? And by the fact that you've got posture and you're asking them what they're looking for, you're showing them that they're important to you. And then you can answer how you meet, meet what you're looking for, what they're looking for, or you can actually ask them to answer it as well. So what do you see that's different about me? Well, what what would you like what do you like about the services I offer they will answer that for you you don't need to dance for them now some people come at you with harsh objections like um, some things that I've heard is is this a pyramid or is th isn't this illegal I would just answer with a confused look and say oh really oh that's interesting why would you say that and then just wait, stop and let them think about it because really, you know, um, pyramids are illegal and it's highly unlikely that you are dealing with a pyramid and, um, and there's plenty of evidence out there to, to say the other way. Now, the other thing is, is that sometimes people have objections about money. Um, oh, it's too expensive and you can just say to them, you know, so you think it's too expensive. Are you in or are you... Are you looking for an excuse to get in or an excuse to get out? So if they're looking for an excuse to get in, then you can help them. But if they're looking for an excuse to get out, just go, ah, oh, no worries, that's fine. You know, that's not for you, great. 
But if they are actually genuinely interested and they said, no, well, no, I would really like to do this, but right now money is an issue. So you can say to them, well, so are you telling me that right now you don't have in your bank, bank account or on your credit card X amount of dollars that they're looking to get started? And they'll tell you yes or no. And if it's no, you can say, well, how far short? What's, what, are we, what are we working towards? Um, and then you've actually got an objective figure where you know, I mean, it might just be $50 that they're short of and, and actually next paycheck they'll get it or they're happy to borrow it from Aunt Sue. And, and then you can move forward with that, but you know, no, it's too expensive. It doesn't give you anything to, to move forward on. The other one that I've, I've recently learned um, is if people say it's too expensive, you say, well, um, so is cheap important to you? Now people naturally associate cheap with cheap and nasty, so you know, be asking, well, is cheap important to you, or are you actually looking for something that works? Another one that I love, um, this is again from Ray Higdon, he says, if people come up with an objection that you don't really have the answer to necessarily right now, or even if you do, but you're just wanting to regain posture, they come at you with a question, you need to say to them, well, that's an interesting question. Now, if I could answer that for you, would you be ready to go ahead? You see? You see what that does? You, you acknowledge their question, and, but you're actually checking in with them. So if I answer that for you, would you be ready to go ahead? Um, and if not, you can then, you know, if they say no, they're just giving you excuses. It's just code for no. But those people that are looking for real reasons, they will say, well, you know what? Yeah, I, I am. It's just this one blockage that I really need answered. So you go, great. Um, let me find that answer out for you. And we'll get back to that. And um, just keep in mind, don't push. You never be wanting to push people because if you push against something, it will always push back. That is the law of physics and that is the nature of people as well. So never pushing, always just pulling people to you. And those that you want to work with and will want to work with you, will close more easily into your deal, they will have a higher respect for you and they will value your opinion more because you listened to them and pulled the answer out of them. So my wish for you is that you create the life of your dreams through your business and taking action each day towards closing more people into your products. Thanks so much for listening. This is Catherine Wood Johnson. Connect with me, with me on Facebook, um, like and share and I will speak with you soon. Bye bye.